Hello, and welcome back to my channel where I share with you Oracle related technologies uh, for your personal and professional development. And if you're stopping by the channel for the first time, uh, please go ahead and subscribe, uh, smash that like button on this video. Uh, do not forget to enable notifications so that you stay informed of when I release new content. And also, uh, please share this video with your friends uh, so that everyone may have the opportunity to learn something new. So, um, as Oracle database administrators, um, as Oracle developers, um, we do certainly have a lot of tools available for us to run our DML statements. And among those tools, um, I am a huge fan of SQL Developer. Um, a lot of other DBAs can use Enterprise Manager, of course, to run and execute some SQL statements. Uh, but most commonly, the vast majority of uh, DBAs uh, use uh, SQL plus command line uh, utility in order to execute um, DML, DDL, whatever SQL statements that they are running within the environment. But what we're trying to show you in this video um, is a cool way uh, to edit SQL statements. So as DBAs, I'm sure there's been some frustrations um, when you type DML statements, when you type SQL statements within your SQL plus, and there is a typo, there is a mistake, and there is a need for you to re retype the whole statement. And from a time perspective, that is not uh, what we really, really like. So there is a command in SQL plus called uh, the define underscore editor. I don't know if you're familiar with this, if you've used this before, uh, but we can define an editor within a SQL plus command session, command line session, right? Um, I am a huge fan of uh, running Oracle on Linux. So I use the VI editor a lot. So uh, I would define in this demo, um, my define editor to be uh, the VI editor and I would show you through some 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 examples. So why don't we go ahead um, and then we get that done, right? I'm gonna open up a, a session here. Uh, this is a new uh, session on my uh, Linux box and let's see uh, which of my databases is up. So let's grab for a PMON and I have a database called NOCA. NOCA is up and running. Let's set my environment to NOCA. And then um, let's go into our SQL session, right? So I'm just gonna use some simple statements here. So let's select instance name. And I'm gonna make a mistake here deliberately so that uh, you kind of see where I am going with this. So V dollar instance. So it has to be instance underscore name. I do, I do this you know, deliberately here so that it shows us how uncomfortable it is for us to uh, make mistakes in SQL you know, plus and then have to retype all of that stuff. So um, because I know where my error is, I'm gonna rerun this statement, of course, retyping, which is what I didn't want us to do, instance, underscore name, um, status from V dollar instance. Now, in this case, I had to retype it, but what if I had defined an editor within a SQL plus session? So let's define underscore editor, equals VI. I'm going to use VI as my editor within SQL plus. So if I define that editor and I repeat this statement in the wrong form, it gives me the same error. But rather than retyping it like I did the last time, I would use the keyword ED, the command ED to call up the editor. It's going to bring out the last statement that I ran uh, that's in the buffer. And in this statement, it opens up as a VI in, in, in a VI editable format. And I know exactly where my error is. So I'm gonna to switch to insert mode, insert an underscore. And that's all I'm doing. I just escape colon and then I save this same commands that I would use if I'm editing a file on Linux using my VI um, utility. So, so that statement has been edited. So if I go ahead and rerun that statement using the forward slash, which reruns the last statement in the buffer, it opens up and then of course we have this. So this is a cool way to make sure that, you know, once you log into a SQL plus session and you define your editor, if you in the process of working within that session have a mistake, 
um, in your a typo in your SQL statement, you can use the add command, open up your editor and certainly um, uh, make some corrections to, to that statement. Now, the, the downside of using this method is you would have to define this for each SQL plus session that you open. So if I exit out of this session and I return to that session and I run this statement, and I run this statement, uh, I would run the wrong statement. It is going to give me the same that, that same wrong answer, that same wrong outcome. How can I make this permanent? There is a certain file in your Oracle home, right? So if I CD to my Oracle home, um, so let me CD into, because my environmental variables are defined, I can CD to dollar sign Oracle home. And within that, uh, Oracle, within my Oracle home, there are many, many different folders. There is a folder for SQL plus. So CD SQL plus, uh, there is uh, my Oracle Home SQL Plus admin uh, folder. So I would cd it to this location um, where, let me see here. Let me make sure that I have the right thing here for you. So this is SQL Plus right here. So cd to that SQL Plus. And in here, I would cd into the admin. Right, so then my working directory here is, of course, Oracle Home, which is up to this point, the SQL, fold, SQL Plus folder, the admin folder. And in this folder, there is a file called glogin.sql. Let me cut the contents of glogin.sql. What glogin.sql does as a file is, it is kind of like a bash profile file, right? Uh, it is a file that sets the global properties for your SQL Plus environment, irrespective of which user starts a SQL Plus session. So if you define this define editor within this file, then you certainly would be able to use the editor uh, when you make any mistakes to fix your SQL statements. So we're gonna edit this file. So we're going to VI into this file. We're gonna edit the glogin.sql file. So if we edit, that file, I would switch to insert mode, enter, and then I would only add here define underscore editor equals bi. That's all I'm adding to this file. So what that file does again, like I said, it's kind of a, uh, a Linux bash underscore profile file where you set you know preferences on how you want things to happen. So let's go ahead and cut the contents of that file to make sure that we have our defined editor written to it. So if I log into any SQL plus session right now, and let's repeat the same things we did the last time, let's do the one that certainly does bring result in an error. We're gonna have that error. So rather than using the define editor, I just go ahead and use ED. ED would pull up that editor in itself because that editor has already been defined in that glogin SQL uh, global you know, uh, login site profile. So let's switch into insert mode, instance underscore name. And then I save this. And of course I rerun that. It tells me here that that is what the modification is. So here is a cool way, uh, rather than really getting frustrated all the time, please use this video, practice on your define editor uh, command. And then you, you, you try to see, let me know if it helped you. Um, let me know if you found this useful. Um, if you did, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, so that that kind of helps us bring more content uh, like this to you. Thank you for watching, and I certainly would see you in the next video.